For today's project, we're gonna turn this stack of rough cherry boards into a nice display case. It's gonna be a lot of work getting them straight and usable, so we better get started. My buddy at work asked if I could build a case to display some of his models. I'm going to use this cherry, but as you can see, it's really crooked. We've got to come up with a way to straighten it out to make it usable. Step one is to cut them into shorter, more manageable pieces. I'm cutting these a few inches longer than the finished piece is going to be. I built this board straightening jig and I set the fence so that the jig fits exactly between the fence and the blade. Now I clamp one of our crooked boards onto the jig, making sure its edge overhangs the edge of the jig. And as I send it through the table saw, the saw cuts a perfectly straight edge on our crooked board. Here you see it. The built-in hold downs don't reach some of the narrower pieces, so I had to make different types of clamping blocks for them. Once you get a straight edge on one side, then you put the straight edge against the fence, and then you can rip the board with the straight edge down the other side. And that's what I'm doing here. Once I get them all ripped straight, I'm planing them so they're all the same thickness. And now I'm cutting biscuit slots in them so we can glue them up and make larger pieces out of them. Next, we apply the glue and insert the biscuits. I'm clamping them up in between these pipe clamps. And to save time, I'm clamping both the bottom and the top piece at the same time. I'm using these metal channels to keep everything from bowing. Once they come out of the clamps, I take them over to the miter saw and square up the end. It's too wide to go through in one pass, so I have to flip it over and cut it on the other side as well. Next, we're ripping some narrow pieces to act as the upright corners of our display box. Now we're running them through the planer to smooth them out. And I've tilted the table saw to 45 degrees and I'm cutting a 45 degree angle on one side. We've set a stop up at our miter saw and we're cutting all the pieces to length. And after applying a little glue to the 45 degree miters, we're going to put them together and hold them with a few brads. To close the gap, we're gonna run our screwdriver along the edge. This is a little secret for zipping that corner perfectly. Using the same method, we finished the final three as well. I've raised the table saw blade about a quarter inch above the surface and I've set the fence and I'm running each piece through making a groove to hold our plexiglass. Now we have to do the same to both the top and the bottom. A little sandpaper cleans up any rough edges. I've made these splines out of 8 inch plywood. These will help us get our corners lined up perfectly with the groove in the top and the bottom. Once we get them lined up, we clamp them and then pre-drill and screw them together. We repeat this for all four corners.
Using a large square, we're marking off where our vertical divider will go. Now we're going to pre-drill from the top down to mark and then countersink in the bottom. These screws will hold our divider. We'll do the same at the top. Before we put the divider in, we're going to put some more verticals on either side. We're using the same splines to make sure everything is lined up. Now we're putting in our vertical divider. This as well as the legs are only screwed in right now. If we glued them, we couldn't get them back apart to put the plexiglass in. Three out of the four sides is gonna have the plexiglass permanently installed. The fourth side, the plexiglass needs to be removable so that you can put your objects into the box. For this reason, I'm using my router and a straight edge to make a groove all the way through the top so that we can slide the plexi in from the top. Now, I'm gluing these inside corner trim pieces. These kind of dress up the corner, plus they also act as a support for our shelf. I'm using some headless pin nails to hold them while the glue dries. Now we're putting a little dab of glue on the top of them and putting in our horizontal shelf. Temporary blocks on the other end hold it in place as we nail it off. I'm also adding inside corner trim to this other end. This side is purely decoration. and finishing up the inside corner trim above our horizontal shelf on the other end. Next, we need the pad out the bottom to make it look thicker. I'm just screwing a one by along the edge all around the bottom. and I'm screwing some of my favorite non-skid feet to the one by. I also have to pad out the top edge as well. I'm nailing these on, but I'm only doing the front and sides. I can't nail it on the back edge because it'll cover the slot we routed to install our acrylic down through. Instead, I've got a piece of cherry plywood and I've nailed the back stop to it. Now we're ripping some thin boards to use as trim to cover the edges where we padded the top and bottom out. We've taken our thin strips and mitered the corners and now we're gluing and nailing them along the bottom edge. Notice we're holding them up about an eighth of an inch off the table. We want our box to rest on the feet, not the trim. And for the trim on the top, again, we're nailing it just on the front and the sides. For the back piece of trim, we're gonna nail it to the removable top. Again, we've gotta be able to take it off to install our plexi. I'll show you what I mean. Now we have access to slot our plexi in. And then when we do that, this is how it goes back together. Except we seem to have one corner that doesn't want to stay down. Well, we can't glue it down. We can't nail it down. I think this calls for biscuits. I always think better when I'm eating biscuits. Yeah, I got an idea. Using some super glue, 
we're going to adhere some magnets to the underside of the top. This should hold our top down. We're filling all the nail holes with color match putty. We're not staining this, we're just going to clear coat it with gloss lacquer. I put a total of three coats on this. Now we've got to take the top back off so that we can install the plexiglass in the front and the sides. To cut the plexiglass, I've got this scoring tool. After running the scoring tool down the plexi a half a dozen times or so, you bring it over to the edge of the table and you pop it. The only thing holding it now is the clear protective film and we cut that with a knife. Once that's done, we pull the film off and we install the plexi in the front and sides. And then we put the top back on and screw it down. All that's left is the plexi in the rear. For this plexi, we're making some tabs so we can grab onto them. These are just made with some heavy foil duct tape. Now holding onto the tabs, we slide it through our slot in the top that we routed into the channels. Here's a closer view of that. You can see, you can raise this up, put your objects in, drop it back down and put the lid back on. Just like this. Those magnets didn't work. So plan two is to put a couple of screws, one in each end. This works great. And here we have the finished product. It turned out really nice. That clear lacquer really makes the grain in the cherry pop. And the acrylic is so crystal clear you can't even see it. And here's what it looks like with the models in there. They fit just perfectly. Well, it took a lot of work, but we finally got that rough cherry straight and smooth. And I think the end result speaks for itself. I'm really pleased with how this display case turned out. And I'm sure my buddy's going to be equally pleased when he sees it. I appreciate you making it through the end of this video. And if you haven't done so yet, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit this button over here when it pops up and subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, hit that little notification bell and that way you'll get an email every time I upload a video and you'll never miss one. Well, I gotta get running. I don't have a project for next time, so I gotta think of one. But I got a surefire method for doing that. So, we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>